I think these five tips um, will be key to getting better photographs pretty much straight away. And I've talked about it already loads, and that is to get a tripod. Buy yourself a tripod if you don't already have one. Now, I recommend that you visit a camera shop, try before you buy, because you need to make sure that you get the right one um, for your camera. And tripods are universal. Any tripod will fit any camera. When I say the right one, I mean to make sure you get the right size and the right weight that will suit your camera. So make sure to try it before you buy. And if possible, try to buy the best one that you can afford. So that would be one of my top tips. Also, think about manual focus. Now, advanced autofocus systems um, in our cameras today, they're very, very smart and very, very clever at working out where to focus in a particular scene. Sometimes they get it wrong, sometimes they can be noisy, sometimes they can be slow, particularly when the light begins to fade. So think about going to manual focus as well. It allows for more seamless focusing changes. It won't always be useful um, and it's not always going to be very fast as well. You know, for sports photography, manual focus isn't really going to be very effective there but if you've got a little bit more time get familiar with using manual focus it can really get you out of um, some frustrating scenarios when the autofocus just won't find um, what you want so think about relying on manual focus in those situations I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but I can't stress enough when you're photographing people, when you're photographing pets, when you're photographing animals, we make connections through the eyes. This is always going to be the first place the viewer looks. Think about when you're looking at paintings. You know, if you go to a gallery, you look at paintings from the Renaissance and that. Think about where you look first. We always start at the eyes. So make sure this is where you focus when photographing people. And once these are sharp, Everything else should look good. When you're photographing, think about mixing it up. Don't always just photograph from eye level. You know, think about getting up, think about getting down, think about looking up, think about looking down. Um, you know, our bodies are 360 in all directions. So, you know, mix it up and you know explore the world this is what it's all about you know photographing is about seeing things in a completely new way and showing pictures to people that may not have thought about looking at something that's perhaps every day and showing it them in a completely new light like this photograph here you know taken by simply lying down um you know in uh, a bunch of tulips now of course when you're photographing something like this as well again don't just drop down into a field of tulips always be sure you know that these aren't protected fields or anything like that but just think about the world around you and don't just always photograph from eye level because that very much becomes repetitive very very quickly so get high get low uh, look up look down um, and just explore your subjects and finally for this lesson Probably the most important piece of advice I can give at this early stage is to enjoy your photography. Photographers tend to be very hard on themselves and photographers tend to take a photograph and, and get frustrated very, very quickly. Take your time. It's not going to happen overnight. You know, as your knowledge grows, your photography will improve experiment with what you can capture. So a lot of the areas of photography that we had a look at in this lesson, you may not have considered photographing them before. Perhaps you're not going to photograph them when you're um, going forward with your photography, but try it. Just try and photograph all these different areas. The world's out there waiting to be captured. So try all these different types of photography. You'll eventually, you might find your own niche. You might find an area that you want to develop, but you won't know unless you try. Photograph new subjects. New things are happening around us all the time. So photograph new subjects. You know, look to what's happening in your local areas. Look what's happening uh, in the world around you for inspiration. Visit galleries, uh, have a look at other photographers' work and photograph new subjects. Take your time with it and keep learning and improving. You know, photography is something, to, it's a lifelong um, hobby. It's a lifelong passion. It's something you can continually improve on and 
you know, I'm always getting better. At least I, I think I'm always getting better, but I'm always thinking that I can get better as well, that there's always still more to learn. And photography is this constantly changing thing. The technology changes a lot. Um, and, you know, there's always something new to photograph. So just keep learning and keep improving and share your photographs. Photographers are terrible for not showing anybody their work, but it is important to share your photographs. It's the only way you're going to develop. It's the only way that you're going to get feedback, and feedback isn't always necessarily going to be positive, and in fact, it's it's that kind of constructive feedback which is more valuable to photographers, because you'll know where to improve for the next time. And explore new ideas and interact with other photographers. Open your minds. Uh, photographers should have very open minds when it comes to photographing. You never know what's going to end up in front of your lens. Eventually build yourself a your portfolio. If you're in this build a portfolio, you're on the right track because that's exactly what we're going to do. Throughout this entire course, throughout these 32 lessons, you are going to have an extensive portfolio by the end of it all. And as I said at the start, don't be too hard on yourself. Photography is fun, so have fun with it. And it's when you enjoy your photography and it's when you're confident in your photography that you're going to take the best photographs.